training camp's finished and we've got three duchies in town. So the least I could do is show them around my city, Sydney. The Opera House. Designed by John, Danish designer John Artsun and it was finally finished in 1973. One of the most spectacular pieces of architecture to be seen anywhere in the world. And then just across the harbour is uh, another one of Australia's, Australia's and Sydney's biggest landmarks, the Harbour Bridge. Finally finished in 1932, it was a long time building. Uh, due to World War I, the building was put back and 16 people d died building the Sydney Harbour Bridge due to poor safety standards. But one thing, very special thing is uh, for many, many years, 50 years, school kids were taught in Australia that this was the longest bridge in the world. And in fact it wasn't, it was 700 millimetres shorter than the, the Bayonne Bridge in the United States of America. Yeah, it's nothing Australian standard, close enough is good enough. Yeah, over here we've got uh, Sydney's very own Alcatraz. It's called Fort Denison, and uh, they, used to, they used to put the convicts out there as, uh, in the early days. And uh, all the convicts are actually under, it's underground. So well, again, if, uh, if you could escape from Fort Denison, you had a long way to swim uh, before you get to, uh, to land. But now it's just, uh, it's actually, they keep it there as a museum and they do lunch out there daily. Fort Denison's the name, but the Aussie Alcatraz. We're at Circular Quay at the moment, and uh, one of the big boats in at the moment is actually, funnily enough, a duff boat, the Volendam, which the boys tell me is a famous uh, Dutch port. But all the big liners come in here, especially during the summer months, and uh, this is the real, this is the real uh, key port of the city for the, uh, for the nautical network. Yeah, come here on New Year's Eve, you cannot move. It's uh, for, I think, 24 hours to 48 hours before, people are camped out, and this is the epicenter of where everything happens on New Year's Eve on Sydney. Obviously, uh, on the Harbour Bridge, there's one set of fireworks decorated the old coat hanger, and then right throughout the harbour, uh, this is prime location where we are now for New Year's Eve and Australia Day as well. The, when the when uh, the convicts were sent to Australia, the rocks was a pretty hard place, a very tough place, not far from where the convicts originally landed. But now it's not so bad. But when the weather goes like this, where else do we go? Let's go have a look in Sydney's oldest pub, the Fortune of War. Come on inside. What I want to talk to these guys about is what attracted you guys to come to Greenwich. Hey Jola, how are you going? Good, good, thanks. Um, yeah, first of all, it was uh, I did five years Royal Bank and um, I wanted to change. And uh, I think Green and Science team is um, they're thinking about uh, a lot of ways to improve yourself and I think for me it's, uh, it's the best way to, uh, to improve myself in the, in the classics and I'm looking really forward to that. I just love the Aussie culture and the attitude and I know when they have to be serious and when, when they don't. <laughs> Whitey, what about uh, the Blue Mountains and the zoo? We've been here for four hours already, so... <laughs> what about that, the Blue Mountains, the zoo and, uh, and uh, Luna Park? We'll be there in a minute, Pete. We'll be there in a minute, mate. <laughs> All right, it's a new day. We've lost two riders, Sean Sebastian. That's because they are guys, they're focused. It's with the biggest club race in Australia. It's a Christmas race. We're gonna show you more about later on. But here we are in Centennial Parklands. This is the mecca for sport in Sydney. Melbourne's got the, M the MCG. Here in Sydney, we've got the SCG. The spiritual home of cricket in New South Wales. It's all in the same area. As we've got here, Sydney Football Stadium. The home of the Sydney FC, uh, the Sydney City Roosters, and uh, the Waratahs. And right in front is where we finished the Sydney Olympic Games back in 2000. It was a great Games won by Jan Ulrich and uh, something that I'll never forget being, a, being an athlete, but uh, something that Sydney itself should be very proud of. The event went down unbelievable and I was very proud to be a Sydney sider. So Jens, you're at the most competitive Criterium Series in Australia. What's the plan for this evening? Uh, I don't know, I'm pretty nervous, so I can't really think of a good plan. No pressure today, Peter, but uh, a poor p performance today would really affect your Tour de France selection. So, all the best. Yeah, 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 I try to do my best because yeah, this is really important now, so uh, I try to be there. All the best there, Pete. Okay. All right, we've got w one lap to go. The pressure's on. The pressure's on. Come on, Pete. Come on, Jens. Let's see what they've got. It's, it's split to pieces, there's been crashes and all. Here he comes, CJ Sutton, uh, lining up very quickly. Only five or six guys contesting this sprint. CJ Sutton leads from the front, 
And it's going to be too fast, I think. Too fast. And wins it. Oh, it's going to the under the line. Jesus. Close one. Thank God our boys are fine. Jens didn't crash. Can't see Peter. But that's his orange jersey would stand out a mile off. So as long as the two boys didn't cr crash, I'll be a happy man. Well, the main thing is you're right, Pete. Live to fight another day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not necessary to go uh, to fall against the ground here. So good race. A good hit out anyway, Pete. Happy Christmas. Thanks, uh, Same for you guys. <laughs> well, it's all happening. I'm seeing the uh, Sydney's, Sydney's fastest criterium series. It's Christmas. It's all happening here at Bondi Beach, one of the most famous beaches in Sydney. Uh, if it wasn't, if it was a bit warmer, it wasn't so cold. I was going to give Sebastian a bit of a run in these, <laughs> but uh, we've got the classics coming up. I'd hate for him to catch a cold. <laughs> all right, here we are in Kings Cross. It's got something for everyone in this town, this part of town. Sebastian, what are your impressions of Sydney? Bloody good, mate. Do you reckon you reckon you could base yourself in Sydney for maybe an off season? Yeah. Could be, could be. There we go. We've got another resident of Sydney next year. I hope you've enjoyed your time. It's been a short whirlwind tour of Sydney, but I've shown you my special parts of the city. I would have loved to have shown a lot more, but that's all we could fit in in a very short period of time.